So hello, 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 and welcome. This is Stock of VTID, and this is the new pack. So I've been on it for a couple of minutes, grabbed a couple of things, and now it's time to bring you in. I don't know what this bell jingling in my ears is, but hey, the new pack. Can you guess what it is? Come join me as we take on Mod Source 2. Ha ha ha. So, first things first, this is how it goes. First thing you want to do is make sticks. Once you've made the sticks, you're going to craft it into these things which are called crooks. And you're going to take trees down. So, I've already jumped in and took a couple of trees down. In fact, as we have to do every time, let's go and adjust sound. because the last thing we need is all that racket so what you're going to do is you're going to crook the trees now as you crook the trees you get drops now the drop we're waiting for is a worm so see we've got two worms so what you do with these worms is you throw them into the back into the trees as you see i've done over here and now we've got infested leaves so you know take these down with a crook and we'll start picking up string now we need quite a lot of string You'll see why in a few moments. Because we're going to do a lot of automation in this series. It's going to be like Sky Factory, but on land. But we're not actually going to be on land. We'll have a base on the land. But I'm going to use that little island there as a starting point. And I'm going to build somewhere right there so this should be enough string for the time being so what we want to do with the string now we want to go to this and you want to craft your string out like that but that's not working properly so have they changed the recipe so what's this all about Hmm, curious. So, let's go. Oak sieve, how do we make that? So that's what we've done. Hmm, -hmm. curious. Curious, curious, curious. So, we're going to try shift clicking it in just in case and it didn't work so what's going on here we're being diddled we're being diddled so something's not right oh i know what we've got to do if i remember rightly I think we're going to have to make a normal crafting table. And hopefully this works. Yes, this might work now. So, we'll lay them all out like that. Here we go. So, you do need a normal crafting table. Stable. A crafting station. And we've got our silk mesh. So, next thing we want to do is again we're going to have to make some sticks we're going to go through quite a lot of sticks in this pack and we're going to do this and this pop some sticks down here like this where have I gone wrong I'm a bit out of practice Let's 
let's grab some oak wood quickly. So, certain woods might not do it. Let's try with the oak wood. And finally, we've got an oak sieve. So these oak sieves are very interesting. We'll just pop him down here for a second. Let's grab ourselves a piece of dirt. Put the dirt through the sieve. So out of that, we made ourselves a seed. Not a lot, not nothing major, but over time, let's just grab a few pieces. Over time, this, this, especially when I go to the, the automated version, is gonna, is gonna help us quite a lot. We're gonna have an awful amount of stuff coming off these. So we just put this through, and we're making these little stones. These little stones come in handy. Not so much for this one, but if you want a sky factory or agrarian skies or something like that they're the start of everything because we're on the mainland we don't really need them as such i'm just doing this as a quick demonstration to you throw the last one through so you get seeds and all sorts out of that look we've got an acacia seed so with the acacia seed we're in somewhere we've got no trees and we'll place him down we'll be now growing acacias so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out for a minute. I'm going to grab loads of resources and I'll come back. Catch you soon. So a few minutes later and we're back. This time I've grabbed some gravel. So gravel has got the potential of giving off some really good things. First one lapis a couple of ores but this is where you can get your diamonds from and your emeralds now like this it's very slow you would be faster mining but later on in the game when we start automating this which i do plan on doing very very fast i mean i'm not going to mess around with this one as soon as i can get smeltery up the smelter is going up so between this episode and the next one I'm going to get the clay, the gravel, the sand. I'm going to get the smeltery up. I'm going to start putting out ores in here. So it's a fast way of getting ores without mining. Don't get me wrong, there's lots faster ways, but for an early game start, this is going to do us well. So, before we really get into this pack, let's just have a little chat and have a little mooch what we've got. Because there's an awful lot in this pack. I've never seen a couple of the mods, so it's going to be a learning curve for me. I'm quite enjoying that. But there's lots. Um, the fact that we've got deco crafting here, I'm quite enjoying that because... I want to make this series a little different. I keep going on epic, massive builds. And they're usually just ginormous. But this time I don't really want to go for the ginormous out of this world build. I am going to put an island out there. And that's going to be my build. But I'm planning on a string of islands, I think. They're going to be small. They will be the big one for the main one, but then there's going to be small little ones dotted about. Each one's going to have its own purpose. I'm even tempted to go up into the air and do a sky island. Just, just as a difference. I keep coming onto these packs and I keep doing massive epic builds. And to be fair, it takes so much of my time. I haven't got enough time to keep up with them all so we're going to go for a, a more 
manageable build on this one. There's a lot to get into and there's a lot to learn. So hopefully you'll join me as we take this pack on. I want to know what that jingling is. Every time I walk here, I hear this little jingle. I'm not sure. But I want to terra firm this area a little bit. I have a little mine going over in that corner there. But we're going to need to do a lot of mining. I need to get my tinkers sorted out. So I'm not going to do the tinkers on this one and show everybody to make the patterns, to make the blocks. I show you that on every single video. So I'm just going to whip that quickly off camera and get it going. The smelter ray, same with that. By now, I've done it on every video and every series. So I'm going to cut out making the smelter ray because... You don't need to see it every time. But what we are going to do is we're going to get this automated quickly. I need Inva. Once I've got that, we're laughing. As soon as the Inva's here, we'll get this automated. We need power. So I need to go and hunt. I need to find spawners. I need to get the diamond dolly. I am going to, I do tend to do that power system a lot, I know that, but for early game it's so easy and so fast, I'd be stupid not to. I also am I'm going to get the nether open as quick as I can. Twilight, I think the twilight's in here, so that will be open as quick as possible. We're going to get underway with this and we're going to do some serious work. This is a solo player world it's not going onto the server there won't be a server for this this is just going to be me so expect big things i do plan on putting a lot of time onto this one because it's brand new i've never touched it before and there's mods on here i want to get into so what i was going to say this is the introduction video. I'm going to leave it as a short one. Hopefully you can keep up. You can get the sieve going on your world. Once the sieve's made, that's half of the battle. You don't have to mine no more. You can do everything on the surface. You can do it all in your house. You can just sit in your living room of your house that you've just built. And just comfortably go away like this. All you have to go outside for is to get what you gotta get but there's a few other things we'll quickly go into before we go so we're gonna need some more wood and do you see the progression bar I love it it's telling me how much of the wood I've knocked out it's great so what we're gonna do we have to get down here quickly because Gravel and sand isn't a problem no more. You don't have to hunt the world for it. I wish that would stop jingling though. It's really starting to stress my head now. So we've got cobblestone. I'm thinking it's a peck. It sounds like one. But when I first spawned into this world, the first thing I met within 20 seconds, no, not even 20 seconds, probably about, about eight or nine seconds of spawning in, the first thing I walked into was a hungry node. I started to get flung around like no one's business and died. So... It wasn't the best, but hey, these things happen. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get the sticks. We're going to split them and we're going to make this pattern. So these hammers are handy. If, if all you've got is a rake of cobblestone and we're going to go into cobblestone generators along the way as well, just so you know, you definitely don't have to mine. 
you just walk along hitting it with this hammer and you break the stone down into gravel and if you do the same with gravel you break it down into sand and if you do the same with sand you break it down into dust now dust is very handy you can make clay out of the dust but all of them can be they can all be sieved so i haven't got a mess around now what i've got to do is got to hit this up we've got to do that and then the next thing we do is that and that gives us a barrel so the barrel catches water all rots vegetables it'll catch water from the rain so if we just left him here as soon as it rains that'll fill up with water once i've got a bucket you can do it manually but then we'll get the dust which we make i'll show you this it's easier so what you do you sand your gravel down you get your sand you do the same thing again you throw your sand down you hammer away and then you get dust now this dust is what you put into the the barrel once it's full the second that's got water in you put this dust in and you make yourself a block of clay so there's no running around the world collecting things all we need now is lapis iron and a couple of other things and we'll be able to literally get this all automated to some degree right here it's getting dark so i'm going to go inside i'm going to go to bed but we're going to call this a day here i'm going to say thank you for joining me and the next episode we're really going to get into it so from me to you take it easy